Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to pair a new Roku remote to a Roku streaming player or a Roku TV. Now not every single replacement Roku remote is compatible across every single streaming player and Roku TV. So I'm going to post a link right at the top of the video description, a helpful resource. It's going to list all of the new Roku replacement remotes that you can purchase and which devices that they are compatible with. Again, if you want to check that out, it'll be a link right at the top of the description. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this new Roku remote and pair it to my Roku TV. And you might be asking yourself, well, my old remote is lost or broken, so I can't even turn on my TV to pair my new remote. Well, don't worry about that because a Roku TV has a physical power button and mine, it's right underneath the TCL logo at the bottom of the TV. If I click on that, it powers up the TV. So you don't need your old remote to turn on your TV. So once you have your TV turned on, we're gonna go through the pairing process. We're gonna take our new remote and we're gonna remove the back cover. And then we're gonna put in a couple of fresh batteries, make sure they are going in the right direction. And if this is the first time you're popping batteries into the back of your new Roku remote, you should get a green light that starts to flash down here. If you don't get that, you can also hold down the pairing button for a handful of seconds and hopefully eventually you get that pairing button to flash. Now at this point, what I do is I turn the remote over and I just start clicking the up and down buttons. And eventually it starts going into its pairing remote process and the green light should eventually go away when it's going through this pairing process. And we should be good to go. We can see the battery level now of this remote, which is a good indicator that we've successfully paired, but also just doing the up and down buttons, you can see that we have now successfully paired our new or replacement Roku remote. And for this instance, it is to my Roku TV, but you can also do this with Roku streaming players. I hope this video is helpful. If you're running into issues, you might have a Roku remote that's not compatible with the Roku streaming player or Roku TV that you have. And again, I'll post a link right at the top of the video description to take you over to Roku's website where they have a list of their replacement or new remotes that you can buy and which devices that they are compatible with. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.